Hey guys, welcome back. This is a little three-day series of me installing some Renogy 100 watt solar panels on some pre-made brackets onto my enclosed trailer. I guess it, I guess you can kind of call it an awning. Um, I kind of think about it like a little extension, but um, this is a time lapse showing you know that installation process and the unboxing of the panels. And stick around. Thanks. So here we're going to get into it. I'm just going to do a little narration. Um, here we are unboxing the panels. I've already got ahead of myself and got one out of the box there. But this is basically what you can expect. No uh, bubble wrap, no like saran wrap or anything like that. Just little plastic, I mean styrofoam protectors. Here I'm just showing the warranty pamphlet. It's just a little information about your panels and what you bought. Um, there's going to be a warranty card here in a minute. I'm going to show it. So you can just register your panels on their website. All of them are going to be the same. I bought four of them for my project. They all were packaged exactly the same. I bought them on Amazon. They received, they, I received them in about a three day time. No nicks or anything like that on the corner. I'm going to count the bus bars. That's the 9BB. You'll see some panels. They'll say 9BB. That's what it means. 9 bus bars. So in this clip, I'm actually removing the screws. In the enclosed trailer, there's going to be some uprights, sort of like studs in a wall. And uh, that's going to be the main frame of your enclosed trailer. And luckily, I was able to mount the um, stands or the you see those metal brackets there I also bought those on Amazon I was able to mount those you know in the pre-existing holes of the uprights and then you know just as this is just pure luck I didn't measure this out or anything the panel ended up having a mounting hole in the same location so this was a pretty painless bolt together process you see me putting them up you know I'm, I'm doing it pretty much one-handed or uh, one person my girlfriend's there just in case but you know and I got the dogs but so here I am just bolting it together. The panel kind of overhung the last bracket just a little bit. So I had to put a self tapper in that very end. Um, you know, right. The, you'll see me doing it right there. I'm putting a self tapper in and um, that held it pretty good. Otherwise, it's got six bolts and then two self tappers. So eight fasteners total. And um, I'm folding it down. I, I got that one knocked out and probably. 30 to 40 minutes. I, I wouldn't say that it took very long at all. So here I am just, you know, eyeballing out my next set of bolts to take out. So I don't realize it, but I've actually put this bracket on upside down. And like I said before, these holes were all pre-drilled, so I didn't have to make any new holes. I pretty well lined them up with what was there previously. You can kind of see the bolt pattern going down the sides of the trailer. That's the uprights. So this is all going into steel. This isn't, you know, just getting screwed into like little sheet steel or anything. This is going into, I would say, half inch, you know, thick um, square stock, which is what's behind that wall. And this is going to come back to bite me later. But since that's upside down, um, the panels aren't going to sit next to each other too perfectly. So I'm, I'm going to have to spend some time later in the video fixing that. So here we are the next day. As you can see, we only have three out of the four panels installed. Um, that panel only has two bolts in it, holding it up there. I had to make a trip to Home Depot, get a couple extra bolts. Of course, they didn't have the same hardware, so we had to get something similar. So pretty cut and dry, just like the last one um, that you've seen previously in the video. This is going about the same. The holes are all lined up. I don't have to make any new holes. The panels are um, pretty much going going on really well, actually. Um, about this time, I'm starting to realize that you know my holes are in the wrong spot 
on the upright brackets and the panel is not quite where I would like for it to be so here in a minute I'm actually going to move these up to a, like a maybe a 90 degree angle both of them and then uh, that's when you're really going to see the whole panel the panel alignment not quite what it should be and then the brainstorming as to why it is that way and uh, this kind of you know really stopped me in my tracks for a couple seconds This is sort of a task to do one person. You see I'm balancing it on my head. Uh, this really isn't the way you should be doing this. Maybe you should put a, a stick or something like that underneath to you know push that up the rest of the way or a helping hand. But the whole pushing it up with your head and balancing with one foot, that's not really the you know, way you should be doing it. But So here I am checking wire, checking the wire, checking the connections, making sure that all my fasteners are tight. Um, I haven't quite put the self tappers in the end yet that'll come here in a second I'm really just kind of focused on where the panel is and how you know high it's going and I'd like to move the other one up at this point so that's exactly what I'm doing Right here at this point, you can see that those panels aren't lined up. The edges of one panel is not in line with the other panel. But on the brackets, it's the exact same amount of holes, you know. So if you count the holes from, you know, one side to the other, all of the holes are in the same amount of um, spacing. So, you know, here I am counting them all, double counting. And I'm actually deciding at this point that maybe one of the uprights is too long. Maybe there was a mistake in the way they were cut. So I'm, I'm switching them around to try and figure out what, what could be wrong. And um, so here's when I come to the full realization that it's actually the upright bracket is is the you know uh, wrong way around. The actual spacing, the whole spacing on the pre-made brackets has a gap. There's a, there's a unnoticeable when you first look at them gap in the way that they're manufactured and uh, I would like to say that they actually are directional. I ultimately figure it out and uh, you know I the upright bars the little triangle bars that you see aren't in the same place but we ended up getting it figured out. So here it is um, as you can see the bars aren't exactly at the same angle but the panels are lined up so that's looking good and uh, thanks guys for watching my video please like and subscribe it really helps me out and I hope to see you again